Hi guys, it's Emma here. My channel is The Vlog Lady and I do videos mostly about the TV show Twin Peaks, if you don't already know. It's been three years since Twin Peaks The Return aired and people are still talking about Twin Peaks as a whole and Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me, the movie, more than ever. I was on Twitter the other day and I saw a, a, wor a worm. <laughs> I didn't see a worm. I saw a woman tweeting and she was tweeting that she wished that there was more Twin Peaks content out there um, from a female perspective and I think she specifically said she wanted to, a podcast but um, this isn't a podcast but I thought look I'm up for that um, still talking about Twin Peaks I enjoy it very much and um, and I'd love to do some more videos. I haven't made a video in quite some time um, for various different reasons, one being that my laptop broke down at the end of last year. I got a new one in November thinking that everything was going to be great again, I could actually edit videos and do anything I wanted media-wise and um, the minute I switched it on it went green screen. This was an HP laptop from their website um, I knew that I was screwed straight away. I uh, phoned the helpline and was on the phone for a week or something. She talked me through it and she was like, There's nothing wrong with this laptop. Uh, we can't replace it. So I've been stuck since then with a broken laptop and literally if I go on Twitter, it crashes. Basically it's total croc. And uh, yeah. I wouldn't advise buying an HP laptop from the HP website. <laughs> I really wouldn't. Another reason that I haven't been making videos is because I had... This sounds like um, I'm trying to be comedic, but I'm actually not. I opened the fridge door on my face in lockdown. <laughs> And I left myself scarred, <laughs> horrifically scarred. And um, I don't know if they're visible, the scars, but it's actually painful to speak. Um, <laughs> that is that is true. I opened the fridge door on my face. <laughs> Another reason is that last year I got some new neighbors and they are very loud. Um, in a scary kind of way. <laughs> I'm, if you follow me on Twitter you may have noticed that I posted that my neighbour makes noises like Leland Palmer makes noises when he's possessed by Bob and um, I'm not trying to make fun of mental illness here because the person that is making that noise isn't mentally ill. They just like making the noise. <coughs> so it's kind of a bit weird and apologies if I am ever making one of these videos and you hear such noises. So anyway, I don't really have um, a specific topic in mind to talk about regarding Twin Peaks. What I thought I would do is a series of videos where I write down on scraps of paper various Twin Peaks topics and I put them all in a bowl, kind of like a lottery or a raffle, and I just pick them out and talk about them, whatever the topic is, for a few minutes at a time and do this for two or three or four topics per video and that way it's short and simple. There's been so much written and so much theorised and so much art. <laughs> I just think it would be fun to have a look at what our, you know, as a community, as a Twin Peaks community as a whole, if anybody watches the videos that is. Um, I think it would be fun to take a look at what our perceptions, our lasting perceptions are of Twin Peaks since um, it ended and, and now that a lot of things have gone under the bridge since season three, there have been theories, there have been articles, there have been um, artworks, all sorts of stuff that may have influenced our thinking. So I think it would be cool just to play with the ideas of Twin Peaks now in 2020, in this great 2020 we're all having. Jeez. 
I do hope that everyone out there is well and safe and coping as best they can. I have found the lockdown pretty difficult, I have to be honest. I'm not a person that responds well to being told what to do, um, regardless of what it means and whether it's good for me. Um, so I struggled with that aspect of it. I'm actually a little like Dr. Amp. You know where your freedom is? In all honesty. And um, yeah, this has been a trying time, I think. So I just want to do a few videos that maybe lighten the tone, if, if that's possible, when discussing Twin Peaks. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write some of my own topics and I also invite you to write topics in the comments of this video and I will add them to my bowl full of topics and in the next video I do I will pick them out randomly I will also not cheat I will try and write topics that you know I'll put on Twitter or something and then go through tweets and write down Twin Peaks related stuff so that I'm not like influencing myself <laughs> to write down things that I want to talk about um, Although there are a couple of things that I want to talk about and I'll add those as well. So, please leave a comment if you're watching this, if anybody's watching this. <laughs> um, and leave a topic if you want to talk about Twin Peaks. Um, and when I do the video I also encourage um, everybody's own interpretations of the topics as well. I think they are all valid and I think that um, by sharing we can open our horizons to new meaning and go deeper into what Twin Peaks means for us. So I will come back shortly, um, I'm not sure exactly when but not too long from now with a video talking about a couple of Twin Peaks topics and see you then hopefully. Bye!